Hi, I'm Casey Patton from Root River Inspections. Got a request from a homeowner who was asking why it was so cold in the upstairs part of their house. We're in a 1970s two-story home. Um, we've got a couple of things that we see here, but normally on a roof inspection, there's also uh, a component of being outside on the roof. Because this is just a an insulation check and a few other things that she had concerns about, we're really only going to show the upstairs in the attic uh, area. On a normal full home inspection, you're covered roof to foundation and all the utilities and mechanicals and, the, and things along those lines. Uh, but today we're just going to be taking a look at the insulation levels. We'll check the ventilation. Um, and one of the concerns that the homeowner had was a whole house fan. Um, and we just happened to notice that a breeze blew in and the whole, the fan actually tipped open. So we're going to assume that when it blows in the winter, we're losing quite a bit of heat through those slats. So let's go ahead and uh, climb up the ladder and take a look at the scuttle. So when you come up into your attic, you should take a look around. Obviously we've got a light here, which is nice. Here we're taking a look at the insulation in the, uh, in the soffit area. You can see that there's a vent chute, the white uh, styrofoam piece coming up. That's great. It does aid in ventilation of the roof. Right next to it, and a couple more down, you see that there isn't, aren't any chutes and the insulation is pushed all the way out. Problem with that is that there's no air that's moving up the roof at that point. And we want the air to move up to these roof vents to get the hot air out. Got take a look at the insulation. It's a little bit of an older style insulation, but still effective. Approximately only about four inches deep there. Looks like it's a little compressed. A couple other areas. It's a little deeper over here. Looks more like about uh, about that nine to ten inch range. Not bad, not quite up to the standards of the day, but it's uh, it probably could use a little extra. One of the other issues that you see a lot in a home inspection is the attic scuttle is usually not insulated. In this case it is. They just took some styrofoam boards, glued them to the top. It's about total is about six inches of insulation so that's pretty good there. And in this case today we've got a whole house fan which is open as we can take a look down in here and see open to the whole house. So, something that may work to eliminate some of that cold or warm air coming up through here is putting a styrofoam box over the top of it. You just have to make sure to remember to remove it during the summer months when it'll when the fan's in actual use. So now that we've completed the insulation inspection, I gave the homeowner a few recommendations. A uh, little bit more insulation in the attic wouldn't hurt. Um, the levels are okay but it's been compressed down over time and should probably have a little bit new added in. Some ventilation chutes should be added in as well as the old insulation pulled away from the soffit vents to increase the amount of airflow up to the top of the roof. Again, lengthening the life of the roof. The whole house fan uh, can, should probably be covered in the winter. You can pretty easily build a box out of two inch foam board. Uh, you can get that pretty much anywhere build the box, put it over the top inside the attic. Just make sure that uh, in the summertime before you switch it on that the box does come out of the attic. Otherwise you could have some problems with the uh, insulation getting ripped up. So again, uh, my name is Casey Patton. I'm with Root River Inspections. We do home inspections anywhere in Minnesota. My number is 507-254-1391 and I look forward to answering any questions you may have about your home.